What's going on guys, Tommy from Pizarro's Pieces. I've had another nightmare today with the editing of my videos. Um, as mentioned in the video last week, I did get some footage again this morning of me filming at the boot sale. I am having issues um, combined in, combining, shall I say, the video footage that I use from this and combining it with a video footage that I'm getting um, at the boot sale. Uh, I did speak to several people during the week. Um, I'm still having a problem with it. I don't know what's going on. I've used a different editing software as well today. I downloaded a new one. I'm still having problems with it. It's becoming a pain in the ass, to be honest with you. So guys, I've got about 30 minutes of footage this morning. It, out of that 30 minutes, I edited it only down to about four minutes because of that 30 minutes, I didn't find a massive amount in that 30 minutes. A lot of my finds came after I stopped filming, but it's not the point. I just want to show you guys. Um, it's always good to, to show what, what have I found out there, and I know people like that. So unfortunately, again, I haven't got any footage. It's uh, pissed me off a little bit this morning, to be honest with you. But guys, I've, I found some good stuff today at the boot sale. Um, I'm going to quickly run through the bits and pieces with you guys because uh, obviously I have to get this video edited again and onto YouTube uh, by some to, by this evening which is normally what I try to do. Um, a lot of odds and sods, bits and pieces so I, I'm not in no particular order of how I found it I'm going to just go through it as it comes because I've got bits on the left on and on the right side of me. Um, so the first thing that's come to me, I'll pick this up. This was one of my more expensive buys of the day I pay five pound for this. I wouldn't usually pay five pound uh, for a comic. Certainly not at a boot sale anyway. I wouldn't say pay five pound, but I know this comic's sort of worth fifteen to twenty pound roughly. It's in really good condition, um, and it's Batman Anniversary issue four hundred. I think it's from like nineteen eighty six or something. So a really good find there. Like I said, I paid a five up uh, in boot sale terms. A comic for a five a year it is quite expensive, but I knew. Um, that it was it was worth a lot more than that. Um, some just some little odds and sods I picked up here all off of various people. I've got a Yoda um, Lego clock that's working, as you can see there. I paid a pound for that. Cool little item. And I've got some original Pokemon Tomy uh, 1998 or 98, yeah 98 and 99. They're both marked figures in. She also had a Pikachu, but the tail snapped, so I gave that a miss. But we've got Psyduck. And we've got Charmander, and again, they were a pound each. They're not going to set the world on fire, literally. He won't set the world on fire, but um, they're they're worth about five or each, give or take. Um, I picked this guy. I'm leaving sort of the best stuff till last. I picked this guy up from Bugs Life. Hopper, I think his name is the Grasshopper. He works as well. I want to talk to him quick. His buttons all over the place, with one on the back as well. He's Hopper, leader of the grasshoppers. You know what, I picked it up for the fact that it was like in really good condition and he still worked and spoke. I paid three pounds for him. I don't think he's worth a lot. Um, Bugs Life ain't exactly uh, the most sought after um, toy line or franchise or anything. So, but still a cool find, three pound. Moving on, um, I actually had footage of me finding these. Uh, I've got these like the stalls, you know, the stalls that have house clearances and stuff. So I cleaned these up a little bit because the covers and that were, were quite dirty. But um, I paid a pound each for these. And these generally go for, in this sort of condition, they're like red, they're a bit dirty and that. Probably between sort of five and eight pound each. Um, so these are Marvel Comics Essential. So they normally collect about 25 or so comics from um, that particular character. Uh, so this one's I've got Daredevil Volume Two. I've got there, and I've also got Daredevil Volume Four. I didn't see any others. Um, like I said, these were quite dirty, and I'll give them a little clean. And then I've got um, the Marvel Comics Essentials Volume One, Two, and Three of Tomb of Dracula. And I've looked; these ones actually go for a little bit more than the Daredevil ones. Are. So, no, but these are always good for comic cons and comic mart and shows like that, that I do. Um, so yeah, like I say, five pound for the five, not too bad, not bad at all. Oh, so far, so good. Uh, I found this, this was one of my last ones actually, but I got this for myself. 
Um, I don't read books too often, but I read comics, but I don't really read books. Um, but I thought this was quite cool for 10p, and I thought it'd be a nice um, read on the flight to when I go America in a few weeks. So this is Ric Flair, best uh, bestseller at the New York Times, and this is To Be The Man. So that'll probably be a cool read there. So, moving on, moving on, moving on. Found some vinyl. Don't usually get vinyl because, especially if someone's got like a stack like that, it takes time to go through and I'm generally looking for toys. But this was at, these two here were actually the first find of the day. Um, I paid a pound each for them. So we've got Ghostbusters, um, Ray Parker Jr. And then we've got Axel Weff, obviously the theme from Beverly Hills Cop. Like I say, they were a pound each, pretty cool finds. And then I've got these two of the same person as well. And these are actually immaculate mint. Uh, we've got the double um, LP from Greece, the movie. And we also got the greatest hits of Walt Disney, 24 original soundtracks. Let's put that there for you. Um, yeah, there's all sorts on there. Bear Necessities is on here, Winnie the Pooh, Zippity Doo Dah, Siamese Cat Song. So I thought that was a pretty nice find for a pound. Um, don't really know what they're worth. Probably not a hell of a lot, but still cool finds. So, sticking to the theme of, or we'll say sticking to the theme, while well, we've got some Pokemon here, uh, I found these off the same lady. I paid a five off for the two. Uh, we've got the Pokedex. It's like, oh, gosh, catalog, it weighs a ton. The official Pokemon Cantu Guide and National Pokedex. All 493 Pokemon. Uh, there's some serious, serious stuff in there. It's a big, big book. Um, Nintendo DS. So this is the heart gold and soul silver version of this. It weighs an absolute ton. And uh, it's not worth that much. I think it's worth about five. But obviously this is, and, I've, and it is complete. I've checked it and it's in really, really good condition. Uh, so this is the Monopoly Pokemon game. This is the Cantu edition. I don't want to go too far forward because all the little bits come out. It's not sealed or anything. Um, but we're going to keep this for a little while. Mummy just said that she wants to play it and uh, have a couple of games before before we do anything with it. So yes, Pokemon, Pokemon, Pokemon. Moving on, moving on, moving on. Um, I actually found, uh, I actually found, got one of these yesterday at the um, toy show. I've done a trade with Empire Aaron at Empire Toys and he gave me that Godzilla. And then I found another one uh, this morning, so pretty cool. I'm just digging through a bag here, guys, because uh, I've got a few little bits and pieces here. So I picked him up, Godzilla, he only cost me 50p. He's the 2014 Godzilla, you press this thing and he sort of whips his tail. Um, now I've got two of them, but I'm going to give that to someone else, one of my pals. I picked these up for a pound for the five. Uh, three of them I've got tags, but they're little Fraggle Rock toys. And I think these might have been like originally in a charity shop. It says Family Holiday Association on them. Um, and they're like little little plushy key rings of Fraggle Rocks. Them, them three I've got tags, that one's got a tag, but it's missing. And then we've got two without, but like I said, I paid 20p each for them. Fraggle Rock still got a, um, you know, a little bit of a following, so I'm sure I won't have any trouble with them. And then I found um, a little DuckTales launch pad pencil topper there for 10p. I paid for him. So a couple of cool little finds there. Right, my two finds of the day. Let me just put this big guy down. I don't want to knock him over. Um, first of all, I found these. Now, I weren't too sure at first of looking at them what they were. Um, but I, I spotted a couple that had names on them and I, I kind of knew what they were but didn't know too much uh, in regards to what they were worth value. I'm not going to take them out of their bags but I paid a pound a bag and we've got a load of Transformers Beast Wars here. Um, some of them are named, I mean this one is called Rat Trap. Uh, one of them is called Waspinator because that was the one I researched but I mean there's one here, that, yeah there's Waspinator. Uh, there's like a shark here. Um, I really do need to sort of go through them. I have no idea what the value is on them. I mean, there's another sh shark whale looking thing with tusks there. Um, th these are definitely, obviously these were 90s toys. The woman said that they were in the loft and uh, a, a kid who was a son who was 27 now. So that would make sense because I think a lot of these toys sort of come out in the mid to 90s. The only one that's not in this box is this one. Um, and this one is actually from 2000, so this one's a little bit older, but it's got uh, Hasbro Takara written on it. So I'm gonna presume that it's associated to Beast Wars as well, uh, like a vehicle. But yeah, there's, there's quite a lot in here, guys. There's some dinosaurs and 
there's there's a praying mantis there and there's a cobra um there's a grizzly bear so i just need and then there was this one which i think is a knockoff but I, which is a knockoff like dinosaur transformer um i just got to get my head around all these i didn't want to start opening all the bags and showing you guys i don't know there, there's some little bits and pieces and then some of them seem to have little weapons and that but really cool find like i say it was a pound a bag um, there was a guy I know who was with me who mainly buys games. He actually showed me these. He, he sort of said, look, and I, he spotted them. Uh, he took a couple for himself. I don't know which ones he got. Like I say, I don't know too much about them. I need to do a bit of research on them and find out what they're worth and stuff. Guys, find of the day though, and this was my last find. I'd already been well around the boot sale and I thought, let me go back to one of the sort of couple of beginning rows. Um, Cause I got there really early and it was, it was dark and stuff. Nah, a woman had a, a woman had a box of figures, and I straight away I spotted uh, I spotted Mumra. So I sort of had a quick look and had a little dig. She wanted she wanted one pound fifty a figure. I picked up five figures, um, and she was like, "Yeah, just sort of give us uh, seven quid." So Mumra was one of them. We've got a couple of Power Rangers here. Um, don't know their names from obviously the the nineties. Um, we've got one of the Berserkers from Thundercats and then obviously the find that probably out of all these five is Ace McLeod from Centurions and he got no accessories or anything but even as he is I believe this figure goes for sort of 10 12 pounds so not a bad little find and just to see these sort of toys at boot sales anyway um, you, you want to pick up everything for 50p 20p of course you do but you've got to be realistic sometimes these toys are 30 years old and I think to be fair, one pound fifty is a, certainly a reasonable price, and there's a little bit of meat on the bone for myself. But beyond that, the next door next to her, who was one of her friends, um, I noticed from afar um, some some bedding, and I spotted this one first from quite far. It was at the back on the floor, walked over, and this is a 1990 Transformers uh, single bed sheet. Really, really cool. Some really, really cool artwork on it. You can see Optimus there. Um, I don't know all these guys. Some of I don't know Megatron's on here as well. There's some others, um, but it, and then on the other side, there's like a big. Uh, it's hard to get it all on camera to be honest with you. Let me see if I can quickly show you guys. Yeah, you can see like big Optimus there. So really, really cool. That was two quid, um, but the really, really cool one. And I have already sold this. So if anyone look watches this and wants it, I have already sold this to. Um, a big fan of this franchise. Some of you guys will know him. Some of you guys will have seen him in previous videos of mine, showing off his collection. Um, I didn't know how much it was worth, but to a friend who collects the stuff, I was happy to just make some money on it. And I've probably sold it to him on the cheap side, which is fine. But this is a mask bed sheet. I'm gonna try and show you guys as much as you can, I can. See, I think Thunder Hawk and Switchblade is it, I think, are there. Um, Moving down a little bit, you've got Boulder Hill. Uh, I think Rhino's in there. Um, really, really cool. Like I said, I don't know. Um, I don't know the rarity of that of this, but it cost me two pound. And Rob, like I say, some of you guys know Rob, who collects. who's a massive mask collector. Um, I've already agreed a deal with him, and I'm happy for it to be going to a good home and I can make a little bit of money as well at the same time. So guys, apologies again for not getting this editing malarkey sorted out. I will get it sorted sooner or later. Um, otherwise it's just a waste of time me having this camera because if I can't edit it and throw the two together, it's gonna be an absolute nightmare. So guys, if you're watching this and you ain't subscribed, please consider to do so. Don't forget I am on all social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Follow us, like us, do all that sort of stuff. Uh, this is where I do a lot of the business and put up a lot of pictures and stuff of finds and uh, other bits and pieces of my collection. So guys, thanks for watching the video. Until the next one, potentially probably next Sunday. I'll see you all then.